What's up, y'all? Got a lot of shoes to get into. Well, not a lot, about four. So let's jump into it and make it happen. The first shoe, black box, Nike Air Force One logo. Sure, I move that all around so you can see it. The shoe costs one hundred and twenty dollars. I have to say that because the tag is torn off. But it is the Air Force One Low NC. XL, which is noise canceling, so like your headphones, I'm pointing like you can see those. The noise canceling, and this is the Odell Beckham Jr. So it's made for people who have athletes who have the ability to shut out all of the noise, cancel out the noise, and focus on their job. So this is the Odell Beckham Jr. model, and the shoe is unfinished. It's meant to be like painted or um, do it yourself, kind of designed and you can pull the swoosh off. It's a really interesting looking shoe. It's an unfinished looking shoe so it's kind of deconstructed so you can add your own elements to it. This is a <coughs> this is a men's size 11 and a half, women's 13. Style code is CI5766110. Like I said the SRP is 120. The uh, color is white white and the UPC for the 11 and a half is one nine three one four five five two one six two nine. There's a fourteen at the end. So let's bust open this Air Force One box, and we do have our paper with the stars printed all over, and then the shoe is on the inside. And I wonder if I'm right about this thing coming off. Yeah, it's basically a plastic kind of silicone overlay. And because this is a quick strike, I think there's no stamp in the top of the box. Usually there's a small stamp at the top of the box on the Air Force One always on the top of the box. So let's pull these out and see if there's a sticker. Nope. I think because it's a quick strike. So because it's a quick strike, no stamp, no QC sticker. So let's pop this out and get a look at it. And once again, I'm still thinking that Nike's playing around with the um, off-white aesthetic. Basically, this shoe looks like an off-white, and the shoehorn is covered with paper. So, I guess if you wanted to tape it off, then you could leave the shoehorn in it to keep the structure of the shoe. But, it's all kind of lined with suede, or microfiber on the inside. And this tongue is actually a snap. It looks like the tongue is a snap. Well, let's see if it actually snaps. It does. It comes off completely. It goes through this hole. So this comes off and you can personalize it. So let me see if I can get that up close enough without my finger being in the way. Boom! Noise canceling and you see the waves, the sound waves. And then you can, once you finish personalizing, you take this off before you start doing your kind of whatever you're going to do with it whatever design you're going to make and then you can um, put your I'm trying to get this thing back on so you can see but it, obviously it's a little bit more difficult with one hand and I really shouldn't be doing that because we're going into about three minutes of the video and I could be halfway through this thing now couldn't I? Yeah, doesn't make a significant snap when you put it back on. Now, um, size label, because I'm running over a little bit as far as time, we don't want to go too long. 07, 27, 18, 2, 10, 13, 18. Uh, small code is LN2, and it's made in China. But I want to hold this up. I'm going to see if this insert comes out. And it does not. It does not. The shoe insert does not come out. You can also see how thin the material around the collar is and the tongue itself how thin it is and then we can come to the shoe and I don't know this is almost vac tech there's no seams on this upper there's only one stitch going across right here right and then the rest of these are vac tech seams that are sealed and fused so that this cannot be a leather this is some kind of synthetic I'm not sure it almost feels like a foam posit if it is a leather, it's because it's been vacuum-teched and sealed and then lined with this leather. 
that it's a little bit thinner but I guess it is a leather I should have looked this thing up so I could give you more information about it the inside is padded here at the back right and then I'm gonna move the swoosh up so you can see where it says peel here and then play peel before play so peel before play so I guess if you pull this too much the tag this swoosh that's on here will come off but doesn't it give you the same kind of feeling as an off-white does right I know I'm not wrong about that I think you know as I said there's a lot of the aesthetics of the shoe of Air Force Ones and different Nikes this thing could pop off as well look you can take your whole finger and put it underneath this heel counter heel collar but anytime we have a shoe that's a bit different video is going to always take longer sorry it took so long for you to get through this but let's go 360 and wrap it up I'll try to trim it where it just gets kind of whack while I'm talking so here we go and I guess this is a leather it's just a vac tech you know and I don't know if you guys remember the vac tech Air Force Ones they made a while back probably about 10 years ago that the shoe came out maybe 8 years ago but it looked a lot like a foam posit. It was not a foam posit, but it looked like a foam posit. Here we go. And that same tag on that swoosh. Peel before play. So it'll be interesting to see what the do it yourselfers get into with this shoe, the noise canceling shoe. It'll be really interesting to see what happens with these. I'm sure it's gonna be some like dope pictures on Instagram and you know. People will be sharing different things. Hopefully people won't mess them all up. But at 120, it's not a bad price to buy a pair and just kind of play around with, you know. Next shoe, same thing. Noise canceling. Air Jordan 1. 